Good day, grade 10. In this lesson, we're going to be learning about the polarity of water. The reason that's important is that an aqueous solution is a solution where the solvent is water. So it's important to understand why water is such a good solvent. And one of the reasons is the structure. So let's look at the water molecule. The water molecule consists of an oxygen atom held together with a covalent bond of two hydrogen atoms. And you'll see from this picture that it has an interesting angular shape. Let's have a look at how it gets that shape. If you look over here, do you see that we've got a hydrogen and from its Lewis structure we know that it's got one valence electron here, one valence electron there. Oxygen has got six valence electrons of which two are two pairs of, shared, of unpaired shared electrons and then there is one single one here and one single one here. So when it forms water we end up with two pairs of shared electrons and that's important because the unshared pairs of electrons repel the shared pairs of electrons and that's what causes the shape of the water molecule. These unshared pairs of electrons actually repel the shared pair and you end up with that beautiful angular shape of the water molecule. Now polarity depends on two things, the shape and the electronegativity. But what is electronegativity? Electronegativity is a measure of how strongly an atom holds onto its own electrons or attracts other electrons to it. Okay, remember that. Electronegativity is a measure of how strongly an atom holds onto its electrons or attracts other electrons to it. So if we look on the periodic table, every periodic table has got the electronegativity numbers on it. And if you look here, you can see that we've got fluorine here, which has got a very high electronegativity. We've got hydrogen, which has electronegativity 2.1, which is approximately normal, I mean average. We've got francium and cesium, 0.7, so they've got a very low electronegativity. So what does this mean? That means that things down here, your francium, your cesium, your rubidium, they don't hold on to the electrons very well. Whereas your fluorine not only holds on to its electrons very well, it also attracts other electrons to it very strongly from the other atoms. Now, we were talking about water. Water is made up of hydrogen, which has an electronegativity of 2.1, and it is made up of oxygen, which has an electronegativity of 3.5. So if we look at that, there is your hydrogen at 2.1, and there is your oxygen at 3.5. So what does that mean? That means that the oxygen holds onto its electrons more strongly than the hydrogens. That means that the electrons in your molecule are going to spend more time around the oxygen atom than they are again about the hydrogen. So that means that the hydrogen side is slightly positive and it's slightly more positive than the oxygen side and that makes water a dipole. So water is an angular dipole which is covalently bonded which makes it a very good solvent. So polar nature allows it to dissolve certain substances. Right, now that you've learned about water we can continue talking about our reactions in aqueous solutions.